my lovely friends welcome to creative art i am nilima and in today's tutorial we are going to make meenakari painting of lord ganesha so friends do watch the complete tutorial to make this beautiful painting for yourself and do subscribe to creative art for more creative art tutorials and do press the bell icon so you don't miss a recent art form now let's check out the diy kit in today's tutorial, we are going to use the DIY canvas paint and decorate kit from Little Birdie. This tutorial is specially for kids and beginners who want to start painting. So let's open the kit now. In this kit, we get a pre-painted canvas of about 18 to 10 inches, paint, a small paint brush, stone chain, ball chain, rhinestone, few beads and a craft glue. So let's start now. First of all, I would like to do skin color part of Ganesha and for that I have selected two different shades of skin color. This is the warm tone and this is the cool tone and to do the shading here I have selected light pink color. I'm going to use a different number of brushes. It completely depends on what I feel comfortable at the time.
After doing the skin color, we'll start coloring the shawl using three different colors. First here is mauve, second is metallic mauve and third is metallic light pink color. Now let's color the dhotar and for that I'm going to use three different colors. The first one here is a dark pearl magenta, this one is pearl pink and this one is pearl light pink and the fourth that is just to add the highlight is a pearl white color. I want the dhoti to be pink so I'm majorly going to use this pink color. To get that perfect shading, here I'm including just a little bit of white. Now after coloring the Ganesha, let's color the background using a pale yellow color. This time I'm using a flat hair brush. Now after doing the skin color, we have done the vastra part and I have also completed doing the background and finally this is how it looks. And now is the most exciting thing to do is color the mukut and jewelries. For that I'm going to use my favorite metallic gold color and then we will be using these beads to decorate the jewelry and mukut part. Now using metallic gold, I'll color the jewelry and mukut part. After doing the golden color for jewelry and mukut, we will let it get dry completely and then let's start placing these beads, stones and stone lace using craft glue. These are all the different types of chains and stones which are given in the packet and you can decorate it in this way. Mostly the green and red stones will go with a yellow and green combination of dressing. So I'm going to use some of the stones and beads from my collection. First, let's start from doing mukut. Here I'm using my craft glue. Use a small toothpick or a tweezer or just a ball tool like this one to pick up minas. Apply a little bit of glue and then place the mina using it.
Now the next line. Planning to place this big, huge pink mina on the mukut. Now we'll place a string of pearls around this. So apply the craft glue and start placing the string of pearls in this way. So this is the amount of pearls I need. Now press it all around. You have to let the string of pearls be with the thread till the glue is completely dry. And once the glue is dry, we'll hold the last pearl and gently remove the thread in this way. And this is how you have to apply the pearls all along the design, okay? I finally completed making the mukut and this is how it looks. So now let's make the necklace. I'm placing the minas on this part also. Now after placing all the beads, stones and doing the jewelry part, this painting really looks like a Meenakari painting. I'm also thinking to do the background part using few beads. But before that, let's varnish it using a high gloss professional varnish. Take a little amount in your palette. And using a flat hair brush, let's start the varnishing part. Now I'll let the varnish get dry for at least 2 hours. Now the varnish is completely dry, so let's place few beads on the background. I'm going to use the craft glue for this. And now finally, this is how beautiful, beautiful our Ganesha painting looks. I think we have done a wonderful job on this painting using this DIY canvas painting and decorating kit. And this has turned into a beautiful Meenakari masterpiece. 
I hope Itsy Bitsy do release more DIY canvas and decorating kits just like this one because I loved how it turned out into a beautiful Meenakari painting and I enjoyed making the entire painting. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.